Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So it's been a while since I've done one of these sit down talking videos and today's video is actually going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be super technical, it's actually going to be a little bit informal because I'm going to be talking about what's in my bag as a software engineer. I've got no script whatsoever so let's just see how it goes. Okay, so this is the bag that I'm using. This is the Teddy Blake 14 inch Vanessa Palmolato in cognac. So it's a pretty standard little tote bag. I mean, it's not really little, but pretty standard tote bag. You've got a little zipper compartment in the middle. You can carry it on your shoulder, or you can also attach this little. Um, why do I keep saying little? It's not little. Okay, you can actually attach this strap. Okay, like this, and then you can just carry it cross body. Like that. But because my bag is actually quite heavy, I don't think it's ergonomically the best to be carrying it on my shoulder. So I usually just carry it on my I mean no carry it across. I, I don't think it's the most ergonomic to carry it across your shoulder so I just carry it like a normal tote bag and yeah, and yes, I usually don't even use this strap Okay, so just wanted to show you what the strap is but that's, that's about it So, this is the front and this is the back You've got this little... Um, Okay, I need to stop saying little, oh my goodness, I need to make a counter of the number of times I say little. Okay, you've got this <laughs> buckle thing where you can just buckle the straps together to make it more secure, like this. And then the front, you've got this keychain thing, and then I've also added M for Magdalene. Inside the bag, you've got three compartments, and then there's a middle zipper pocket for you to put like there's a zip compartment in the middle for you to put those small loose but important items so yeah i just wanted to thank teddy blake for gifting me this bag so that i can show you guys how i use it and how i style it so teddy blake's bags are made in italy using premium italian leather and they're all extremely high quality as you can see and the awesome thing about teddy blake is that they have many designs for you to choose from so even if you don't see a design that you like right now, stay tuned because they release new collections every month. This color, cognac, is also extremely versatile and it matches with a lot of different outfits because you can never go wrong with a classic tan kind of shade. So yes, I definitely recommend this color. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you in my bag is my work laptop. So let me just take it out right now. Okay, so this is my work laptop. It is the 14-inch MacBook Pro. It's the M3. This came out in November 2023, so it's still pretty new. So let me just actually take it out for you. It's it's in the color silver. And yep, nothing much to say about it really, except it's really fast. Uh, it manages to help me get all my work done. I do all my coding on it, and yeah. And then the case that I'm using is this moft case. Now the really cool thing about it is that you see these little indentations over there well you can actually fold this into a laptop stand so if you are working on the go and you need a laptop stand this basically transforms into 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 a stand so yeah that's pretty neat if you're interested in it i have a discount code maglin 10 that you can use for 10 percent off so do check it out okay so the next thing i'll show you is this notebook that I have. It's very Asian. But one thing that I've started doing recently is to start taking notes using pen and paper. Because I used to always take my notes digitally, like on Notion or some kind of other note taking app. But one thing I like, one thing I realized about taking notes using pen and paper is that it allows your brain a lot more freedom to think. So I can write in columns. I can draw little diagrams, I can call out certain points and this wasn't something that I could do taking notes digitally because I had to write all my thoughts in just like lines you know, lines, 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 bullet points, everything so yeah, 
I'm enjoying taking notes the analog way for now, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, the, the one downside is though that my handwriting is pretty messy, so sometimes I can't even read what I'm writing. And also, it's kind of hard to organize information because you just like word vomiting on this. But then if you if you do it digitally, like at least you can search keywords, then you can organize the information and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you win some, you lose some. For now, I think I'll stick to taking notes using pen and paper because it also helps me to concentrate during meetings. So yeah, that's my notebook. And then next up, we have my bottle. So this is a pretty standard 750 milliliters bottle from Oasis. I actually got this from, it's an Australian brand, I believe, but I got this from Changi Airport. It's in purple and I just decorated it with some cute stickers from Kiki K. And then this case, um, this little cover was crocheted by my mom. So it's pretty cute. And what this case does is it basically protects the, the paint, the surface from getting scratched when I put it inside my bag or when I put it anywhere. So yeah, it doesn't really help to insulate it because it's already an insulated bottle, but I guess it just adds to the aesthetic and helps to protect my bottle. And speaking of bottles, this is my lunchbox. <laughs> so I usually only go to the office like once or twice a week, but when I do go, I would usually make my own lunch because I just think it's healthier and it saves money anyway. So I just make my lunch and then I put it in my lunchbox um, and I just decorated my lunchbox with some cute stickers. So this is my phone, um, this is my very cute phone case, this was given to me by a very 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 close friend of mine. Um, I really like the colour green lately, so it's just a green Oreo case and even my lock screen is kind of cute too. <laughs> this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, I got this at the end of 2021 so it's been a couple of years now, almost like two years. But it's still working fine, I've got no complaints about it, so I don't really see a need to change my phone. So yeah, I think I'll be sticking with this phone for a while. It's doing a very good job. I'm still team Android. <laughs> I mean apart from my apart from my my laptop because I mean that's a work laptop. Okay, anyway. And then speaking of phones, here is my power bank. So I think by now you would have noticed that I really like cute things. So this power bank is from Shopee and it's amazing. It's small but mighty. And yeah, so basically when my phone dies, when I'm outside, I can just revive it with this very, very important little device. And I used to not have a power bank. I think I only got this last year. So last time my phone died, like that was it. That was, that was game over for me. But then now I've got a power bank so I can at least revive it and not get lost yeah. okay so now let's move on to the inner compartment with the zip so i'll start with this this is a travel toothpaste and toothbrush set gifted to me by my sister who is a dentist so one thing that i noticed when i was in korea was that everybody brushed their teeth after meals no, okay, most people brush their teeth after meals and like for example during lunch. So during lunch break, everybody would go to their lockers, take out their toothpaste and toothbrush and then just gather together in the toilet and just brush their teeth. Like I remember I would, I would go to the bathroom during lunch and then and then when I, when I come out, I would see all these girls like standing around the sink, just brushing their teeth, chatting. And I thought, man, that's actually a pretty good habit to have. It's pretty wholesome because usually I only brush my teeth in the morning and at night. But if you think about it, it's actually a lot more hygienic to brush your teeth after meals too because, I mean, food gets stuck in your teeth, right? So yeah, I decided to cultivate that habit, so that's why now I carry this when I'm outside. Okay, next up we have this pen. Uh, my friend gave me this pen when I was in Korea as so a farewell gift when I was just about to leave. This is Chunsik from Kakao Talk, one of the characters. A nice black gel pen. I have my wallet. This is from Hong Kong Disneyland, again given to me by my sister. This is my personal color, Autumn Deep. So I actually paid like 100,000 Korean won just to know what my personal color is um, so that I can buy shades that suit me better, I guess. So yeah, I'm an Autumn Deep. 
if you if you've done your personal color let me know what yours is i'm very curious to know i, I don't actually know if it works but man why not i was in korea and i thought why not do what they do in korea and just get my personal color done so that's what i did then i also have this cute little mirror from daiso uh, with the comb but i don't really use the comb and then i have this lip tint um lily by red i actually it's not the one i'm wearing right now but it's the one that i use most regularly and it just smells amazing Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. All is well, all is well, all is well. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, no, I, I gotta clean it up because it went onto the side a little bit. I, I need to clean my bed off. But anyway, basically, basically, that is my lip tint. And sometimes, you know, I just put it in my bag in case I need to retouch my lips. And then lastly, I have my earbuds. These are the Samsung Galaxy earbuds, which I got in 2020. And yeah, basically I just use this when I'm on the commute. And it's also noise cancelling, which is really handy. So yeah, that's pretty much what's in my bag as a software engineer. That's pretty much what I carry to work. And because as I mentioned, I don't go to the office that much. Yeah, I actually work from home most of the time. So. Even though I'm talking about what's in my bag as a software engineer, I do use this bag for basically all kinds of occasions. So like if I need to go to church, if I want to go out and have like a co-working session, work in a cafe, whatever, I'll just bring this bag with me because it can contain so much stuff. And yeah, on a more personal note, what's really cool about this is that a few years ago, um, when I was still in uni, I was watching this video by Dear Nessie on what's in my bag, what's in my school bag and her bag was actually the exact same bag the Vanessa Palmolato Teddy Wick bag but in the shade black and back then when I was watching the video I thought hey that's a really nice bag, I want to get it too of course I didn't because I was a poor uni student so it was kind of surreal to me that I get to work with Teddy Wick on this video and. I get the honor of like the privilege of choosing out a bag so yeah that's that's kind of crazy that's kind of crazy to me especially because i'm not even like a fashion or beauty youtuber i'm a tech youtuber so yeah i just thought i'd share this cute little story and i just want to say thank you so much to all of you guys for supporting my channel for supporting all the videos the content that i put out because without all your support i wouldn't have been able to grow this channel to where it is right now i mean i'm still a pretty small youtuber but it's, it's a platform nonetheless so thank you so much for all your support and i'll try to continue to make videos that hopefully serve you guys as well so yeah that's what's in my bag as a software engineer i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any video ideas for me then please leave them in the comments down below stay safe stay well and i'll see you in my next video bye